thought, I thought that we were supposed to be in Texas. But this is like Vegas hot. This is like Vegas hot. This week on Born to be Nomadic, we have our mast removed and the wind taken out of all of our sails. I wanna kiss you on a beach, breathe you in like ocean breeze, sway to the crashing of the waves. This morning we are getting the rigging, the mat, the rigging taken down so that the mast can be taken out. Um, so that we can actually sail this boat, which is really exciting. And so um, some of the people from Hayes Rigging here in Kima, Texas, are here to take down um, the sails and get the boat prepared for uh, the mast to get fixed, which is very exciting. One of the first things that the rigging company has to do is get all of our lines off of the mast and unattached from the different sails so that we can take down the boom. We've been really happy with our decision to go with Hayes Rigging. The level of customer service is super high and everyone's been really helpful in teaching us how to do everything and they allowed us to film a lot of what was happening and understand better our own boat. And obviously Dino really loved everyone that came over and worked on the boat. Morning. How long have you had the boat? Uh, it's about two weeks now. So one of the things you'll find out if you own an old boat is it's a mismatch of different things. So for example, our sail is for a Morgan 383, but we have a Morgan 382. Bill and Sebastian meticulously took down our mainsail and our Genoa, folding them neatly and wrapping them up, making sure that they were very well taken care of. And it was cool to watch them do that and learn how to do that ourselves. After getting the mainsail down, they were able to take off our boom and put that to the side so that we could get the mast out. After the sails were off and folded up, they started to work on the standing rigging and getting that so detached from the, the side of the boat. On this boat. <laughs> After all of the rigging is prepared, then the mast can be taken out. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to head to the gym and get a workout in. Paul went to the park to do yoga. I can't, I, for the life of me, can't understand that. It's so hot in Texas. It's so hot here. It's like hotter than Vegas. And I mean, you know what? That's, that's not true. If Vegas is hot as well, but it's so much hotter than I expected. And I called my broker and I was like, I don't like this. And he was like, this is the worst part. So if you can make it through this, you're going to be okay. So I'm here at the gym, gonna work out in the air conditioning. I'm making coffee this morning because we are headed out 
to get our mast fixed, which is super exciting because that's step one to being able to actually sail this boat. And that is awesome and exciting and something that we're all looking forward to because so far the boat's only been work and no fun. <laughs> Are you excited, Bino? Because it's going to be your first sailboat it's ride. This is also awesome the first sailboat ride. I'm going to be honest, boats are expensive, but this is so much more challenging than the RV and so much more interesting and so much more fun. So even though, well, maybe not fun yet, but <laughs> it's definitely challenging my brain and I'm learning new things. You know, like our bilge pump stopped working and we found out when we opened it up that it was full. Who knew? <laughs> Anyhow, you know, that's all right. That's fine. <laughs> I'm learning new things and challenging my brain and having new experiences. And that's what life is all about, right? Life isn't about living stagnant and doing the same thing over and over again. Life is about really getting out there and doing the most that you can because one day I'm not going to be here and you're not going to be here. And we're not going to care about how much we worked. We're going to care about the things that we did to make our life interesting. So it's all right. It's now day two of getting the mast fixed and we're pulling away from the dock for the first time on our boat, really, since we bought it and everyone is excited to get underway. We asked the people at Hayes Rigging to help us move the boat because we actually don't really have a lot of experience with the boat yet and don't feel comfortable moving and docking without help. It doesn't work. It's been a really awesome learning how to run the boat and working with the boat because everyone is so helpful in the sailing community. Everyone just wants to, to succeed and really enjoys the sport of sailing. Loaded neutral. Just kind of letting it just glide in there. Oh. Where's neutral? After the boat is docked, the work of getting all of the rigging prepared for the mast to come off officially starts and we do all of the final touches to have the mast removed by a crane. The cool thing is though the boat gets to stay in the water while the mast is removed and put on the dock. It's actually pretty amazing to watch them take the mast out. We had to have it removed because there was corrosion at the bottom of the mast and it was starting to collapse into the keel. So what we're having them do is cut off a bottom portion of the mast and then rebuild the mast step to a higher point so that the standing rigging will all still fit perfectly and doesn't have to be replaced. Once we have the mast removed, we learn that the reason why it was corroding was because someone filled the bottom of the mast with expanding foam. Now, I don't know a lot about boats or sailing yet, but I'm pretty sure that expanding foam in the bottom of the mast is a terrible idea. And it did a lot of corrosion, so it turns out it was a terrible idea. Anyhow, leaving that behind, we were excited to get back on the boat, get back on the water. Paul took the helm a little bit with Bill's help, and we headed back to the marina. I really appreciate you. Paul really appreciates you. Dino really appreciates you. We absolutely appreciate you watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with others. It really helps us out. And it's free, it's easy, and we love sharing things with you. So let us know if there's anything that you want us to tell you about, any questions that you might have. We're totally new to this, but we're really excited. We love it already. We're really enjoying ourselves. We would love you to join us for our next video where we find out something very suspiciously poopy and yucky is happening at the bottom of our boat. Anyhow, have a great week. 
Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you soon.